Hello everyone, it's George here and um, today I'm going to be going over how to color in in a digital art piece. So I've already gone through a couple color passes just messing around and um, I'm pretty much going to show you what that process looks like for my, for my process. So I'm going to start by making a new layer. I'm going to move that layer under my line art here and what I like to do to keep it pretty accurate and this is just a quick sketch also is I go through with the lasso tool and I just start covering where I'm gonna be adding in color now you can hold shift to continue your selection just so you can keep going back and adding in. It's not going to be perfect, but this is a good way to help you stay within the lines. Just going to try and grab as much as I can. I think I have everything but the hands now. Now that we have everything selected, I'm going to go in and select what I think would be a nice skin tone for this character. It was Goku from Dragon Ball Z in his Super Saiyan form. We got a soft brush here. brush and you can just as you see fill in that space with this color now the whole body's filled up pretty much there's obviously a few loose corners that you want to go back in and touch up Next, I'm going to focus on the hair. Same process. Take the lasso tool and cover this outline of where the hair belongs.
sample some of those parts that were not selected the first go around and I think this is good enough to work with now if you know anything about Super Saiyans you know they're very well known for their very brightly colored yellow hair so I'm going to select what I think is a pretty bold yellow now we come back in here Eyebrows will also be that same color. By holding Alt, I can select the color of the eyedropper tool if it's the color on the screen that I need. Without having to go back and pick another color. The eyes were always something along the lines of this color. So we'll move on to his accessories, which is his lower bar, lower part with his pants and belt. Gonna do the same thing here. Lasso tool. Fill that space in with that blue. And then I'm going to come through and get the pants. Actually, I think I'm going to just do that orange. I'm going to finish grabbing up the pants here.
and all this is is pretty much laying down base colors so that you can go back in and add in some shadow details to further progress the volume of whatever it is that you're drawing So now we're going to hold shift here to continue our selection with the lasso tool. this area here selected so you're gonna press alt to deselect get that marked out it's part of his belt Finally, the shoes, which his shoes are mostly blue as well. And that's pretty much it. I mean, we have our base colors laid down. Now, if I wanted to, which I'll probably save for another video, come in and on top of this, start adding in some shadows. Get a darker color, and like right here, under the lip, beside the nose. Under the neck and chin. These are hard edges, but it's just to kind of give you an idea. Just sleep, just how quick adding in some shadow can add more depth to a piece if you wanted to do it soft you could go and change your brush to a soft brush lower the opacity and kind of add a subtle shadow you can do the same thing with lights you could brighten this color and then so I don't want to it up. So I'm gonna be too light. Okay, it's more visible here.
do the same thing with the clothes. Add those shadows and highlights. Thank you. 